So this is the real star of Power Book 2 Ghost, and with all of the loose ends tied up from the original Power series, and with the introduction of the TARDIS, and all of the returning and new characters such as Mecha, this is going to be the beginning for Power Book 2 Ghost, and we're going to kick off pretty much from where we left off, after Tariq killed Jabari, as we see Kari confirming Jabari's identity, and it looks like Tariq is going to be the one who's going to be charged for the murder, as Sax tells McLean. We also see Mecha and Kane, Theo Rollins, who's going to be Davis McLean's brother, Rashad Tate, who's going to be involved in the storyline with Tariq, Zeke's going to be questioned, there's going to be a lot that's going to go on in season 2, and holy shit, Kanan's going to be returning in a hallucination, which we're going to talk about in a bit more detail later on in this video. But as we move into season 2, as some of the episode titles which have been revealed, this season is going to focus heavily on Tariq's dilemmas that he's going to face, as we saw him and Lauren debating in his class. But in this video, we're going to break down the trailer as well as over the next few days as usual. But of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But let's start with the synopsis for season 2, which reads Power Book 2 Ghost begins its second season, with Tariq St. Patrick still running from a legacy that haunts him. Forced into the choice of taking the life of his professor, Jabari, Tariq finds himself drifting further from that which he has been fighting to protect, his family. With Tasha in witness protection, Tariq knows he must sacrifice anything to save what's left of his family. Unable to do it alone, he turns to those wielding power and influence such as Davis McLean, Cooper Sachs and Rashad Tate. All of these are going to come with a steep price, so it's going to be back to business with the Tahadas. However, these two murders involving Stansfield, Moni Tahada has to question if Tariq is what's best for her family because she's going to want to protect Zeke's basketball career at all costs, just like we saw in this trailer. And Drew and Diane are going to question her moves as she grows more distracted, especially when Monet goes as far as trusting Kane again, despite his actions against his family. In doing so, Monet is going to find herself in bed with Mecca, a man who wants to show her a new world, potentially at the cost of destroying her old one, forcing Monet to lean on Tariq, who must decide what he really wants and what he's going to sacrifice to get it. And this pretty much ties in with what we saw in the trailer, and we're going to start with what we saw with Tariq, because holy shit, we're going to see Kanan coming back in a hallucination for Tariq, telling him that he's supposed to be on his man shit, but we're going to get to that in a moment. There's going to be a lot going on with Tariq in season 2 with Jabari's murder being the centre of attention, as we see Carrie identifying the body and Brayden finding out that a professor at Stansfield was murdered. And no doubt Brayden is going to be able to connect the dots that Tariq or Kane could have been involved and it's definitely the hot topic on campus. All of the students are going to be questioned at Stansfield and it's going to be way too hot to do any business in at the moment. There's going to be Kevin Whitman who's going to be the detective in season 2 and Jenny Sullivan who's going to be heavily involved in the investigation. Jenny's going to be in bed with Cooper Sachs and this is going to be huge in the whole investigation because he'll be able to access key parts of the investigation for his client which could very well be Tariq by the looks of this trailer. Sax tells Davis McLean that his favourite client could be mixed up in yet another murder and as we read the synopsis earlier on, Tariq is going to need the help of a lot of powerful people this season and Davis McLean is going to be one of them, he's going to need him and this is why he's going to be forced into working with the Tahadas as we move into season 2. Davis McLean of course won't turn money down as he senses this as an opportunity to make even more money from Tariq and I'm sure he's telling him later on not to talk to anyone and this could very well be Tariq's Joe Proctor. So Tariq is going to be under fire from all angles, as we see him being taken into the police station, no doubt to be questioned about the Jabari murder or possibly even the Bars murder as well. But we all know that Tariq's been in a police station before in power when they planted the gun on Kanan and he was killed. He was taught to lie by his parents, so I have no doubt that Tariq would be able to hold it down again in this situation. So we see him telling Kane that everything's going to be fine and he's going to have everything under control. Kane's going to tell him that he's not going to go down for this. And one key moment that we spoke about during the power off season, does Tariq still have the murder weapon? And we called it a position of power because I definitely think he has and it could be crucial in the whole investigation and whoever goes down for the murder of Jabari and Moni wants Tariq to make sure that nobody's looking in his direction because she wants to protect Zika at all costs. But no doubt all eyes are going to be on Tariq and she won Tariq in the trailer. You know what's going to happen if you're lying and Tariq definitely knows the consequences of this game. And then we actually see Zeke being questioned towards the end of this trailer and the question is, can he hold it down? Because he's someone who seems like he'll crack under pressure from what we've seen of him in season 1. He told Monet that he thinks he has to tell them what he knows and when they put his basketball career on the line, what choice is he going to make? And Zeke is actually one of my death predictions going into season 2 but Moni is going to do everything she can do to protect him and we're going to see her pulling the trigger on someone again and according to her character, she's going to be a savage this season but let's wait and see. And this whole situation that Tariq finds himself in is why he's not just going to seek the help of Davis McLean and Cooper Sachs but also Rashad Tate as he tells him that he could use the help of someone of his status and this is how Rashad Tate is going to be involved in the storyline of season 2 of Ghost in the lead up to his spin-off. But as we read through the synopsis for season 2, Tariq is going to have more problems than one. He's going to have to protect his family and that includes his baby sister Yasmin 
As we see her with a cut across her head, and Tariq says that he's her family, he's gonna look after her, and he's gonna feel like he needs to protect his baby sister, and he's gonna do whatever he can do, just like he tells us. But holy shit, this is something we've spoken about a number of times, and I'm sure at some point Tariq was gonna have a hallucination of either Ghost or Kanan, and it seems like it's gonna be Kanan first, which makes sense, because he's the person that Tariq looked up to, he was Tariq's best friend, and the person that showed him the game, and taught him the game. He accepted Tariq for who he was, which Ghost wasn't willing to do, and as Kanan told us in power, that Tariq has the gangster born inside of him, he was more savage than Ghost was at his age, we're gonna hear Kanan telling Tariq that he's supposed to be on this man shit, and it's too late to be scared now, and no doubt Tariq is gonna be in a situation here, that's for sure, the last time we saw him in a black vest was when he killed Jabari, and with Kanan popping up in his hallucinations, no doubt he's in a situation where he's just about to kill someone again. Just like when Kanan popped up in his hallucinations before, he convinced him that he should be the one that has to kill Ghost and not Tasha. And this is definitely my favourite part of the trailer, Kanan returning in a hallucination. But elsewhere in the trailer, we see Effie handing Tariq a bag of product in the trailer, and later on in the trailer, even getting into a fight with Diana. So this love triangle is another issue for Tariq. Lorenzo in prison, Tariq and Monet both clocking a gun, and also hitting Lauren by the looks of this. Drew back at home and punches someone, and he's definitely going to be a changed person this season, that's for sure, especially after being shot. We see Davis McLean visiting his brother in prison, and I'm looking forward to seeing the history of Davis McLean and why his brother's in jail. Does he have something to do with him going down? For example, did he take the rap for something that Davis McLean did? And could he even possibly be in prison with Lorenzo, as they seem to be wearing the same coloured jumpsuits? We're also going to see another jewelry heist and an easter egg in connection to how we saw the jewelry heist in season 3 of Power with Jukebox planned with Kanan and her crew and who could be pulling this lick we're just going to have to wait and see. But Mecca and Kane, now this is something I'm looking forward to seeing as they seem like they're going to be working together as he hands him a knife and whoever this is, Kane is about to deal with him and we are definitely going to be seeing a lot of gunfire this season as we saw in multiple scenes during the trailer. So that was the official trailer for season 2 and we're going to break it down even more in terms of characters and the different story arcs over the next few days and especially with Kanan's returning in Tariq's hallucinations. This trailer gave us a lot to talk about and we've not even seen 2-bit yet so I do wonder what's actually going to happen with 2-bit going into season 2 and it's going to be very interesting with what happens with this character because he still needs to come back and collect from Tariq. Two other characters which we never saw in the trailer were Cristobal and Roberto, but it does seem like they're going to be back as they're listed on IMDb, but what their roles are going to be, we're just going to have to wait and see. But there is still so much more to cover over the next few days as we dissect the trailer even more. But let me know what you guys thought of the trailer down below in the comment section. Drop all your predictions and thoughts. Now that you've seen the season 2 trailer, drop all your predictions for characters such as Kane, Tariq, Brayden, and how Tariq has to protect his baby sister Yasmin. So drop all your thoughts and theories down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button. You shouldn't see everything Power Book 2 and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.